so the transfer market is getting really really hot for chelsea as chelsea are about to confirm the signing of romelu lukaku bringing romelu lukaku back to the club yes chelsea has also reached agreement with roma for the transfer of tammy abraham wow this is a very very huge shocking news to me because i never expected Tammy Abraham to leave Chelsea anytime soon, expect him to fight for his shirt. Well, Chelsea and AS Roma have reached an agreement for the transfer of Arsenal target Tammy Abraham, according to reports in Italy. Arsenal, Southampton, and West Ham have all been linked with the 23 year old, but they put over his 40 million price tag. However, Roma have emerged as the earliest destination for the striker as the Serie A club look to replace Edin Zeko, who is poised to replace Romelu Lukaku at Inter Milan, who is joining Abraham's current club, Chelsea. This is according to Gianluca Di Marzio, who claims there have been important steps made in the negotiations between Roma and the Blues for the England international. It is believed that Chelsea could be happier to send Abraham abroad as opposed to a Premier League driver. Whether it's a loan deal with an option to buy or a permanent deal, this summer remains to be seen. But Stanford Bridge Club are likely to receive around 40 million either way. Tammy Abraham made 22 appearances last season, scoring six goals, but was left out of the squad entirely on multiple occasions. Despite being unable to play regularly last season, Chelsea has been actively pursuing a new striker in this transfer window and Roman Lukaku is on his way to Chelsea that could mean Abraham is also on his way out of Chelsea as mentioned earlier the Blues are bringing Lukaku back like, like I just said to Stamford Bridge in a 97.5 million pounds deal the post have claimed that the Belgian and Chelsea had his the Belgian I mean, Lukaku had his Chelsea medical yesterday and is due to be announced in the coming days. I mean, Lukaku provided 24 goals and 11 assists in 36 Serie A appearances last season, taking his total goals scored in all competition to 64 since joining the club in 2019. Lukaku spent three years with the Blues earlier in his career but failed to nail down the place in his first team and was later sold to Everton for 28 million in 2014. Lukaku goals helped Inter Milan and Antonio Conte to win the school day too. Well, despite improving physically since departing Manchester United, there are still some that doubt the abilities and fitness of the 28 year old. But to me, he is the best thing out there right now. Ex Liverpool striker Stan Coleman has described Lukaku as a big, strong Belgian with the first touch of a trampoline. But there are plenty of more mobile forwards, and Lukaku has bucked up a lot. Thankfully, these cliche opinions of Lukaku are close to extinctions, but there are still some doubters out there. Well, who cares what? They think but Romel Lukaku would definitely do the goods for Chelsea and also Tammy Abraham leaving Chelsea I just hope Chelsea will end up putting a buyback clause in his, in his contract just so that when he goes and becomes a superstar like we know he will definitely be Chelsea can easily get to sign him and now he if this deal goes forward and is going to Roma. Wow, he will be playing under one of the most the most funniest and the most should I I don't want to use a funny word, but you know what I mean. You playing under Mario and you know who Mario be you know who he is and he can do wonders with Tammy Abraham if Tammy Abraham puts his head down and 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 and, and fight for his spot if Tammy Abraham can buckle up 
with Murillo behind him I'm sure he's going to score a huge number of goals he's still very young so he can do really really do great things he unfortunately last season he didn't play much games but the games which he did score he was really really impressive in Champions League in the Premier League in the FA Cup the FA Cup was just basically his competition he scored a lot of goals in that FA Cup well I expected him to fight for shirts alongside Romelu Lukaku despite the fact that he might be limited because when I is there Kai Havertz now Romelu Lukaku joining him so it's, it's a justified move for him to move and also thumbs up to Chelsea if Chelsea decide to sell him abroad that's very good because most premiership teams do not like selling their players to Chelsea Tottenham for, for, for number one they don't do that and instead of reselling him to the Premiership club to start the horizon in Chelsea, it, it's best he goes out and the buyback clause will definitely be in his, in his contract. And even if it's a loan, it will be very, very good. Whichever way the deal will be very, very good for Chelsea. It's a win win situation for Chelsea. And if Tammy Abraham is leaving, Amanda Broja has joined Southampton. That means Chelsea might end up signing another striker just to complement Tammy Abraham's departure. Or yeah, Chelsea will end up signing another striker. It's 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 almost like reliable. Or they could just decide to go ahead with just Tammy with Roman Lukaku, Timoena and Kyle Havertz as the striker going into the new season well fingers will be crossed and hopefully the t's and the i's will be dotted and be crossed before the end of the day and Romelu Lukaku will be announced as the new Chelsea player who Chelsea has really really longed for for a very very long time well as it is now Chelsea tomorrow's game against Villarreal time is ticking for Chelsea to include Romel Lukaku in the squad to face Villarreal and hopefully he will be in the squad so that he continues from where he stopped his last kick for Chelsea was in the Super Cup against Bayern Munich where he lost the penalty that helped Bayern Munich to win the competition now this time around he's coming back definitely he left as a boy is coming back as a man well with the way it is now we expect we just expect between now till 11 o'clock 11 p.m he should be announced as a chelsea player and join the rest of his teammates at belfast for the game against villarreal the spark of game against villarreal tomorrow anyway guys i'd like to get your own comments and what you think about this and if this is your first time here on our channel click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon too to